guys, welcome to the Pistachio Graphic channel. Last week I designed this chessboard and I am excited to pass this knowledge for you. On this design I applied some textured bricks to seem like bricks in the, in the side of the project. On this video, you will learn how to apply these textures. Remember, you can download this drawing, the first link of the description, with all the measurements required for this design. Oh, to start, we need to create a new file, create a sketch here, a square base on the center with four. Millimeters here and here. Finish the sketch with the extrude tools. Direction symmetrical 60 millimeters and change to the whole length. Okay. Need to apply some chamfers. Select all the eight chamfers. Select all the edges. The twelve edges of this product. Apply two millimeter chamfers, and the corner type change to meter. Make this look. On the right view, we can create the handles on this board. Select a, this rectangle by the center with 90 millimeters and 55 millimeters. In the drawing, we need to extrude 35 millimeters. Extrude minus 35 millimeters and apply some fillets here, 80 millimeters. The fillet tool, select all the internal edges. Look here. And apply some two millimeters chamfers here. To mirror these features, we need to select the mirror tool, select features, select the extrude and fillet and chamfer, mirror plane to the middle, to mirror to the other side, and change the compute type to optimize. We have our handles apply. To start with the texture bricks here, we need to create in the top face the sketch. Create here a triangle. This triangle needs to be aligned. Hold the shift button, click here, the middle of the line to align. And this align to the center of the vertical. These need to be one millimeter. Resize the triangle here. We can apply a 
perpendicular constraint this project line we need to change this to a construction line so there select the profile and now we need to repeat this sketching select the rectangular pattern select these three lines the direction change the distribution to spacing quantity 39 and then the distance needs to be 10 mm the direction needs to be symmetric by one here we don't need, need that part and click ok This is the first line of the bricks. To create the first line, select the extrude tool. Start with the center triangle. Hold the shift button and start to select the other triangle. Always leave one to select. Hold the shift button and start to select the triangles here, 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 here. Hold. Now the other line here. Turns to one side, the distance is 10 minus 10 millimeters. We need to do, to do this to remove the material and apply. On the sketch tab, unhide the sketch. Select the next tool tool. Now we are going to do the second line of the bricks. Start to select select the triangles that we don't select in the first line. Hold the shift button to select multiple triangles. To the second line, we need to, to set the distance minus 10 millimeters. For the start profile, we need to do an offset as a minus 10 millimeters and confirm the operation. Hide the sketch and now we need to repeat this two more times. Select a rectangle pattern. Select the filter type, select the true extrude here. The X in this case is the Z axis. The distribution needs to be spacing 23 and the distance minus 20 millimeters. And confirm with the OK button. Now we need to, to create the horizontal sketch. Select the sketch in this middle. We need to create some triangles here. Here and here. These need to be horizontal aligned here. Hold the shift key, align, align the, the line on the 
vertical. This point needs to be a one millimeter distance. One millimeter distance. And size this triangle. We don't need this so big. Change this construction line here as a construction. And repeat this triangle to use a per perpendicular constraint here. We need to repeat this feature. Select the rectangular pattern, select the three sides the triangle, the direction, select this line, distribution as spacing, quantity as 5 millimeters. And the distance is millimeters and you have symmetry produce and ok finish the sketch with the extra to select all the triangles here inside with the extrudes with the extrude sketch, with the extrude to select all the triangles here inside, here, the direction, symmetry, the distance, all, here, and confirm. Just give this look as a brick applied to the side of this project. Now we need to repeat this feature. Select, change a circular, and we need to repeat the three extrude, the pattern, and the base horizontal extrude. Select the axis on the z-axis and change to 4. And change to optimize. And this make this look as a brick texture applied. And to finish this product we need to select the top face here. Make it one line, make this vertical, and the midpoint of this line fix in the center of the design. Create a rectangular line, select the object, here. Number seven, four hundred millimeters, divide by eight. Mm -hmm. the distribution spacing, we need to symmetry. Okay, do the same. The horizontal, select as horizontal. Apply the midpoint to the center. Select the object and direction, quantity 
it should be seven. Seven. Four hundred millimeters divided by eight. Make this simple. And that is. Finish this sketch. And now we can do the extrude. Select the thin extrude. And select all the lines here. These measurements is here. The extrude needs to be at 0.2 millimeters. Wide in the thickness is one millimeter. In the distance is 0.2 millimeters. The wall thickness is two millimeters. This case is minus to remove the operation cut to remove the material. And to apply some colors to this product. As blue, black, and black. And with this, and with this face select, we can start to apply some colors here. We can apply some colors. This is the chessboard. If you like this, this design, you can press the button here below and subscribe to the channel to see more designs like that. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.